Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gebo the Shaman, and today we are talking about what happens when we have Rahu placed in the sign of Capricorn in your birth chart, in uh, Vedic astrology in your birth chart, so in your D1 birth chart. So what happens when we have this position? Well, in order to in order to understand this placement better, we need to understand what Rahu means. Then we'll talk about what Capricorn means, and we will come up with our own analysis. But before we get into all that good stuff, I'd just like to let you guys know that I am a Vedic astrologer. I do have Vedic astrology readings for sale right now. Uh, you can get them, you know, for a good discount right now. Um, check out everything that I have to offer at GeboTheShaman.com. All right? It's right there, or you can go to the links down below in the description and check it out. All right, so let's get into it. So Rahu in, um, in Capricorn. So what is Rahu? Rahu is the north node of the moon. So in Western astrology, they would call it the north node of the moon, but in Vedic, we call it Rahu. And basically the, the significance of Rahu is that he is a head that is detached from the body and the body is called Ketu and um, and so basically we have this head that's full of desires, full of addictions, full of compulsions, you know, all this stuff and he is trying to get his needs met, he's trying to get his you know, his uh, he's trying to become satiated but since he has no body to actually process the food and digest and feel full and satiated uh, then he, he just never never feels satiated so um, this is what our addictions are it's they are endless unfulfilled desires that never end that never get satiated so just because you you know you let's say you really want you're really feeling you really want to have sex okay so then um so then someone with some so then after you do that then you know a few hours later you're still going to want to do that again and it's just this never ending thing uh you're going to want to go out and drink uh and then you go out and drink and then what happens the next day you're going you're saying hmm I really want to drink again you know this is this is addictions this is uh, this is why Rahu relates to addictions and um, compulsions and um, gambling cheating stealing alcoholism drug use drug abuse and all this stuff so so Rahu really relates to the, all this stuff, but um, so in Capricorn, Rahu, so, well, what is Capricorn first? We should talk about that. So Capricorn is a, is a sign and it's ruled by Saturn and Capricorn is all about hard work, discipline, organization, structure, um, timeliness being you know being on time being very structured very disciplined very organized you know all this stuff so um, you know it's really about working really hard re working your butt off to get to get success to get the prosperity the the you know everything materially that you want everything like to to satisfy your material desires, you know. Um, so, what happens with this placement is with Rahu here. Rahu has an unending desire to achieve that highest status. It wants to be like in a politician's chart. Could be like. This person wouldn't be satisfied with just with just being like a a 
city councilor or a congressperson. No, this person would want to be the president. <laughs> he would want to be the main man in charge. You know, um, stuff like that. So, so it, it's really this this unending desire to to achieve to strive for that top position. That you know, he would in in like a company corporate structure. This person would want to uh, buy the company to uh, kick the CEO, CEO out and you know be the head, be the CEO. And so this position, you can lie, cheat, steal, do whatever you have to. You will do anything to <laughs> to achieve this position. So, um, so yeah. I mean, that's that's really what this is about. So, um, so yeah. Um, and then. So someone with this position, uh, you could definitely become a workaholic because Capricorn is all about hard work. And so you would neglect your family, you would neglect everything else just to, you know, be, just to be working and to, it's not enough to just work. You want to be the best, you want to be the top you want to be the the highest one on the ladder basically so um so how do we balance this and and you know this rahu position can can be a really good thing for you it can be you know very driving it, rahu is a driving force and so it can drive you to succeed However, there's always a balance that needs to be considered here. Why is that? Because we have the head, the all-consuming, never-ending head, um, that that um, that isn't attached to the body, and so we need the body to balance out the the driving energy of the head we need the body to kind of balance that and counteract that in order to achieve some kind of balance. So, um, so K2 would be in Cancer. Now Cancer is all about the emotions. It's about the home, the mother. It's about the, you know, the, you know, nurturing, caring, uh, emotions, you know, things like that. And so one thing that you'll find with workaholics is that you'll find that they don't think that they are ever good enough. They don't think that they are good enough. They don't think that they are, uh, you know, that their best is good enough. And so what do they do? They they figure, oh, if I get the top position, then I'll be good enough. Well, guess what? When you achieve that top position, you know, when you've been working your ass off for like 30 years and you finally get to that position, you'll be like, well, what did, what did I do this for? What was the point of this? You know, because because just because you get that position, that doesn't mean that you will feel any better about yourself. So here's the tr here's the here's the remedy. Here's the shortcut. Emotionally nourish yourself. Tell yourself that you are good enough. Tell yourself that you are enough. You know, because. The society today is nothing but um, self-criticism and, you know, we, we have a high standard for ourselves and, and that's a good thing, but when it comes, we, when it gets out of balance, when we're putting our, our social status, our, our success, our reputation before our own value of ourself, our, our own worth of ourself, our own self-worth. That's when it gets out of hand. 
So, uh, if you have this position, I would highly encourage you to meditate. That's why I have this stuff over here. Um, these are guided, these are like active meditations. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, patreon.com slash shaman or you can just go to getbothershaman.com. Anyway, um, so, you know, uh, so we need to, K2 is trying to teach us that we need to emotionally nourish ourselves, emotionally um, care for ourselves, emotionally love and appreciate uh, ourselves, so, um, and, and let ourselves feel loved and appreciated. You know, it, it's, a, it's one thing when other people say they love you and they appreciate you and things like that, and that's well and that's nice and that's good. But if you don't love in, and appreciate yourself, you know, yourself for who you are, if you don't appreciate and love yourself, then anything else, other pe anything everybody else says to you, it isn't going to hit you. It is, it's not going to affect you. It's not going to, you're, you're basically incapable of feeling that from other people. If you don't, if you don't give it to yourself. And this is where all codependence comes from, is wanting other people to, to, to fill you with their love, but you don't even do that for yourself. So really take a look at yourself, really um, see where you're not loving yourself, because that's, that's what you need to do. That's the most important thing, because if we're not good within ourselves, if we're not okay, if we're not happy with ourselves, if we're not, you know, if we hate ourselves, then we, basically we are depriving others of, of love and we're depriving ourselves of love and that is not a, a good or healthy thing and so really Ketu is saying you need to get this in check. So meditate and make it a point to do self-care, love yourself, uh, do, you know, tell yourself that you love yourself. Um, there's lots of things that you could be doing. The person, the, personally, the thing that I love doing the most is this, these things. Self-transformation challenge extremely powerful um and as well as the cosmic qigong um you know they they basically put me in touch with the universe the energy of the universe and what is energy energy is love and so when we're tapping into energy we're tapping into the love of uni of the universe we're tapping into the love that the universe has for us. And so when we do that, a whole bunch of emotions are going to come unraveling. And, you know, hopefully we can learn to love ourselves. That's, that's um, one of the, one of the benefits that comes along with doing this stuff. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, and um, yeah, that's about it for me. So I do, um, you know, before we go, I'd just like to let you guys know, uh, please uh, go ahead and subscribe and like and all that good stuff, like, I see that a lot of people are not subscribed, so if you would, please subscribe. And um, then we have the astrology certification course, so that that course basically is 
um, it's a free turnkey, well, not a free, but <laughs> it is a turnkey business, a turnkey astrology business, so, uh, when you take that, when you purchase that course from me, and when you take that astrology certification test, uh, the certification, uh, exam, and you pass that exam, I will give you your own free website, and I will manage that for you, and, uh, basically that, you know, I'll put your PayPal button and actually refer clients to you. So the more successful I become on this channel, the more successful that you will become. Um, you know, I can't promise you that you'll get a lot of clients, but you know, uh, that's that's why you promote yourself. That's why you do your own thing, your your own self promotion. But yeah, uh, anyway, uh, astrology certification course, Vedic astrology readings, also offer birth time rectification, so, um, you know, if you are one of those people who's not sure of their birth time, their exact birth time down to the minute, uh, you need that, um, then the astrology certification, or the birth time rectification would be uh, recommended so and then we have the distance energy healing so if you are struggling with your self-worth with your mental health emotional health physical health anything like that the distance energy healing that I offer is great for that stuff it's re very cleansing very healing very empowering and so then we have the career coaching and life coaching so the career coaching is you know if you're one of those people who straggles and struggles through life and you're just wasting a whole bunch of freaking time that is not a good thing that is not a healthy thing so you need to get on your path and purpose it is not good to just wait around for something to happen that is not how life works so get on your path get on your purpose pur purchase a career coaching session today um, and I will help you with that um, then we have the life coaching of course and the uh, the ritual magic courses so you know uh, I'm also like a counselor too so in my in my life coaching, I also do like spiritual counseling, so that's something. Um, and then we have the ritual magic courses, which if you're struggling with health, wealth, prosperity, happiness, all that good stuff, then the ritual magic courses go into your unconscious mind and destroy all your unconscious thoughts. Go into your th the nine levels of your psyche and just destroy everything preventing you from having your perfect life, your perfect success, your perfect happiness, and your perfect wealth. So there's that. And then we have the Qigong courses. So Cosmic Qigong and Self Transformation Challenge. Those are two very powerful courses that basically put you in touch with the universe and allow you allow the universe to wrap you and bathe you in her loving energy so that's what that's about um, if you're interested in anything and everything that I have to offer then you can check out all my courses sales uh, all my bundles on um, my courses services products everything that I have to offer gebo the shaman.com all right and once again like share subscribe all that good stuff Thank you very much, and we will talk to you next time. Peace.